Uh, in this part of the country, Thanksgiving Day games are unique. I think that the Fairhaven Dartmouth rivalry has grown into such a mutual respect. Maybe it's a mutual admiration society because we know each other so well uh, and we understand the schools. Our principals, of course, uh, have a tremendous respect for each other. The people that's a cheerleaders or the director of athletics or whatever it is. I think there's, there's such a nice rivalry. Setback is Tavares. This is Tavares. Tavares heading for the goal line. He's down and in for an Indian touchdown. Excellent. Mata and Vrakas, and the give is up to the middle. Two high steps. Touchdown, Dartmouth. I'd look for the tight end on this. Nope, he's staying in to block. Here comes the rush. Gets Ooh, away from Termel. Fires in the corner. Cut. Touchdown. John Nunley Kilborn. Here's JT. JT's got running room. JT's down the center of the field. Forget it. They're not going to touch him. Indian Touchdown. By number Jordan three, Todman. Sylvia off the play fake. Going to shoot it. Touchdown. Adi Fontaine. Pitch and catch, Jim. Here's Martin. Look for running room. Look out. Martin's got space. Martin's in the secondary. And Chris is going to take it in for a touchdown from 30 yards out. Whistle blows, and that's. The final score, Dartmouth High School victorious here on this Thanksgiving Day game. Favorite memories, probably all the practices and double sessions where I've grown bonds like friends and stuff. My name's Justin Cruz. I'm a former Dartmouth High School football player and a graduate of the class of 2009. Um, my fondest Thanksgiving Day football memory would have to be not one particular game, but more about the tradition that went into it. Um, and there's a lot of tradition that does go into it. Uh, one of the biggest ones being our last practice that was held at Memorial Stadium. We'd leave the high school, take the bus ride over, and seniors would be able to, to do their final lap at the stadium. And that was followed by uh, Coach Rossi trying to beat the bus home, jogging back in the middle of November or late November. Um, you know, there's nothing like the tradition of, of Thanksgiving Day football. It just means everything. It's all about tradition. Everyone's family's there, all the alumni are there, and it's all about pride. Hi, I'm Ryan Lang, class of 2007 from Dartmouth High School. My most vivid Thanksgiving Day memory was definitely watching Jordan Todman and Jared Santos run wild in Fairhaven in the mud in 2005. Um, but it also seeing the young guys kind of come together. There was one guy in particular I took under my wing, Justin Mello. At first, you know, at the beginning of the season, kind of, kind of looked like a young giraffe out there running roots, but by the end of it, it really came together. And I think he ended up playing uh, junior college football in New Hampshire, so it was great. Dartmouth Pride's a, it's, it's a great thing. You don't really learn about it until I think you're on a sports team, especially with football. It's a great t uh, tradition we have with Raven and that. Uh... My name is Justin Mello from the Dartmouth High class of 2009. Uh, my most vivid memory from the Thanksgiving Day game and some of the traditions around it would have to be um, just watching some of the seniors who, you know, we see put in the work day in and day out. Um, on the practice field who didn't necessarily get a ton of time throughout the year got their opportunity to get in the game and, and, and shine um, for the Thanksgiving Day game and specifically what I remember most was my sophomore year uh, senior Ryan Lang who had the second best hands on the team um, got in there and he actually made four tackles on special teams as a, a wide receiver which you don't see very often and just seeing him going nuts uh, after making a tackle that got the whole sideline the whole crowd into it. Sylvia fakes one way throws the other Mello with a spectacular catch. Mello still on his feet. Justin Mello down inside the 10 yard line. My name is Mark Devitt. DHS class of 1965. My most memorable Thanksgiving Day football game was my senior year in 1964 when we beat Fairhaven 56 to nothing. The most memorable moment of that day was when I sat at my locker after the game and reality hit me and I realized it was my last football game I'd ever play for Dartmouth High School. And that was kind of a hard moment. And then when I thought afterwards, I am very glad to have had the opportunity. And it was certainly an enjoyable experience for me. 
It went by really fast. I can remember, like it was yesterday, freshman year coming out here. Could play varsity, a little nervous, you know, throwing up on the sidelines. But it, it, it is hard to believe that this is my last Thanksgiving game here. Hey, how you doing? Uh, it's Jordan Tarvin here. I want to talk about uh, my memories and, and some traditions that come to mind when I think about the Thanksgiving Day game. Uh, I'll start off with uh, first things first, talk about the first game. And I got an opportunity to play varsity. Uh, Coach White brought me up as a freshman, which wasn't as common. I was excited, I was nervous, but uh, yeah, I felt like I was ready you know, for a chance to, to showcase and, and go out there and play at a high level. Was able to go out there and rush for over 200 yards, pulled off a big win, and um, which was the start of my 4-0 streak against Fairhaven. Uh, I would love to proudly say I'm undefeated against those guys, but I know I'm not the only one. A couple of days before that, I got a chance to to uh, watch the upperclassmen, uh, the seniors, do their final lap. And at that time, I was a freshman, so I understood it, but I, I couldn't truly understand it until I got to my senior year, and uh, which would be my last year where I got a chance to play football. Uh, last time to play with my brother on you know, the same team with me, uh, something that we've done for a long time. Uh, uh, last time to go out there and, 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 and fight with those guys and, and on that field and uh, you know, wearing, you know, the Dartmouth uh, green and white. The Indians high school is growing and here's Todman. Todman has got running room. It's a foot race and Jordan Todman's going to go down and in touchdown, for an Dartmouth. Indian Dartmouth. touchdown. Dartmouth. And of course, my oldest uh, grandson is the senior here, Arthur Lynch, who is a kid that loves the game of football, and this is his last uh, home game and last Thanksgiving Day game he'll play will be today. We put on the, our jerseys, green and white, it's just representing the town and, and the football team and everyone who's played before us, so definitely. Um. Hey everyone, my name is Arthur Lynch. I graduated from Barrett High School in 2009. We're talking about the Thanksgiving Day game against Fairhaven. Um, it's really hard to pinpoint a specific memory that comes to mind because there are so many of them, uh, both as a player and a kind of a fan growing up. Obviously my grandfather coached at Dartmouth High School for his, nearly his entire career. So as a family, we would always go to all the games and be super excited just to uh, you know see my grandfather coach. And I'd be, I'd be following all the players all year long because in reality, when I was a young kid, all the Dartmouth High players were like heroes to me. Um, I always dreamed of playing for Dartmouth High and to kind of like eventually get there and, and be an athlete, um, you know, it, it was pretty pretty surreal uh, because most of the time was spent uh, on the sidelines. And when I say sidelines, I mean outside the sidelines, playing uh, football uh, with my best friends during the games and occasionally peeking my head at the scoreboard to make sure we were winning. And if we weren't, I knew it was going to be kind of a tough weekend when we got together with my grandparents because, you know, my, my own who did not like to lose. Uh, but long story short, I think... Uh, it wasn't so much a memory, but really a feeling that I had my senior year coming off the field and, and getting to see my other friends um, play during the fourth quarter. It was kind of a feeling of uh, nostalgia, but also how life had come full circle. Because, uh, you know, I saw all our water boys uh, who were young kids. Coach Crane's son was one of them I remember specifically. And kind of the kids on the sideline um, who were half spectators, half players themselves. And you know, I kind of sat there and smiled and had a feeling of, you know, satisfaction and, and almost like a bittersweet moment because I realized that, you know, playing for Dartmouth High School is a pretty special thing uh, because you not only represent yourself, your family and your friends, but also Dartmouth High School itself, the tradition it brings and the community of Dartmouth. Sylvia off the play fake. Going to shoot it. Touchdown, Adi Fontaine. Pitch and catch, Jim. Murphy loses the ball momentarily, and the Indians come away with it. Sean Sylvia, he's got it, and Sylvia's going to go in for a touchdown. No one's going to catch him. Sean Sylvia picked up that ball at the 41 yard. This is nothing new for Coach Rick White. He's utilized two quarterbacks throughout the whole season. Now they get it out here to the near side. This is Tisdale. Tisdale's got running room down the sideline. They're not going to catch him. There goes Tisdale in for the touchdown. So here's Jacobson. He's got the arm. He throws it long and deep near side. He's got a man out here. It's caught. And this may go for a touchdown. It's Luke Clark down the sideline. And Luke's going in for an Indian score. Game for Dylan Pacheco as a senior. He hit the Estrella, and he's got running room down the far sideline. They're not going to catch him. Estrella's going to take it in for the distance from 48 Number yards no out. And the Indians have had great success in his marks. Oh. And look out, he's going to take it to the house. 
And the Indians start the third quarter with a 60-yard touchdown run from Ethan Marks. Well, it's a great atmosphere, you know, it's, especially when the weather's nice, a lot of people can come out and bring their families, bring the kids, and, uh, you know, it's a good time to go rehash all the old stories of how many touchdowns you scored fictitiously <laughs> and, uh, you know, build up, build yourself up 20 years ago, 30 years ago, but, no, nah, it's just a good time. Everybody comes back. We have a lot of former players here. Um, you know, it's just a great day. Before I go, I want to say rest in peace to Ralph, who's also part of my memories. I know every game uh, he was out there. And just about everyone he can make it was out there, you know, chopping and, and, and rooting for us. So the Indians will keep chopping for you. And um, God bless everybody. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving and stay safe. I hope everyone has a happy and healthy holiday. Um, and I, I really can't wait uh, to get back to Dartmouth and, and uh, celebrate properly with all y'all. All right, have a great Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. So I hope everyone's staying safe this year and just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving.